I was in Bali, Indonesia, distributing Sheila Prabhupada's books near the beach. I met a young couple from England. After purchasing two small books, I looked at them and I was a little intrigued. So I asked them the question, what are you guys doing here in Bali? They both had some tattoos and some piercings, a lot of metal in their face. So they looked a little too scruffy for Bali, which is such a posh, such a family vacation resort. So they told me, since you are also an activist, we can share this with you. We are on our way to Australia and to Antarctica. We are going on an expedition with a team who is trying to prevent the Japanese from whaling, from killing the whales. What they do is, on their little boats, they go in between the whales and the hunters. And they're trying to prevent these people from killing the whales. I was quite impressed, thinking, these young people are ready to go to Antarctica to die in the cold waters for a bunch of fish. Because it is a very dangerous situation to be, be between commercial hunters and whales on a little boat uh, in the middle of nowhere, somewhere near Antarctica. I was thinking, they're ready to die for a few fish. What am I ready to die for today? Do I have something that's worthwhile to die for? As Martin Luther King said, if you have nothing you're ready to die for, you have nothing to live for. So we should all ask ourselves, what is my uh, reason to live and my reason to die? And it better be a good reason, because that reason is what drives us. That is what fuels our engine and what moves us.